Hello and welcome to the first episode of Cronus Plays Pokemon Fire Red. So unlike a normal Let's Play, this is actually going to be a challenge Let's Play where I'm going to be doing the Nuzlocke Challenge. Now you probably want to know what that is if you don't aren't familiar with the Nuzlocke Challenge. It is a couple set of rules that are supposed to make the game harder to play. So, rule number one, any Pokemon that faints is considered dead and must be released. There is no revives and no quick Pokemon center visits. Uh, rule number two, and the last rule, or last original rule, is the player may only catch the first Pokemon encounter in each area, none else. If the Pokemon encounter faints or flees, there are no second chances. That also means, you know, if I, on the first route in this game, I'm not going to be able to catch any Pokemon. So I also am adding additional rules to this game, uh, to this challenge, is there's no duplicate captures. So if I run into a Pidgey on Route 1, capture it, and then on Route 2, run into a Pidgey, I can't capture that. I'm out of luck. Um, also, no legendary Pokemon, though by the point in the game where those are actually available, it's going to be, you know, not a problem. So, But it's a rule nonetheless. Um, yeah, so here's Professor Oak. I'm probably not going to go through all the secrets in the game. I know, because the, the challenge is going to be over for me when I beat the, the Pokemon League. If I beat the Pokemon League. Um, if I faint or black out, uh, it's over. The challenge is done, and I have failed. So, let's go with the name. Uh, I hate all caps, so... I'm also playing with an Xbox control, which is kind of new. Hey, just enough. All right. I couldn't name him Red, but man, what's the point, right? So your name is Kronos. Well, yeah, I just told you it was, bitch. God, you're such an old man. Ah, uh, yeah, he kind of looks like a girl. Dude, I never even met him before. Wow, you don't know your own grandson's name? Well, I'm just going to go with Green, because that's his default name in Japan. In the blue... Um, Excuse me. In the the manga English manga version of Pokemon, it was changed to like fucking blue. So, and the female was named Green. But when it was re-released to uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, they changed it back. Eh, I don't really know. Hey, sweet. I haven't played this game in a while. But I do remember some things, like getting my goddamn potion. All right. Now, I didn't really take into consideration which Pokemon I'm going to start with. The easiest Pokemon to start with would definitely be, like, freaking Bulbasaur. Because he's strong against the first two gyms. Actually, first three gyms. Um, though his attacks aren't strong on the third gyms. Hey, wait! Don't go out! Uh, I'm an old man! I can't get it up anymore! Um, but uh, I, that's just too easy, really. Um, then there's Squirtle, which is probably my favorite starting Pokemon. However, first gym is a non-plus, and then I'm, you know, I don't have an advantage or disadvantage at the second gym. So yes, we are going completely hard mode with this bullshit and going with a Charmander as our first starting Pokemon. I know, I'm an idiot. What can I say? But on the upside, that means we could lose our first Pokemon at the first gym. Or against green over here. Shut up, green, you little bitch. Let's see, is this Charmander? No, that's Bulbasaur. I don't want Bulbasaur. No! Alright. Ah, Charmander. Uh, yep. Sweet. Do, 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 do. Sweet. Do you want to give your... Yes, actually, I will be trying to nickname all of my Pokemon. Hate all caps. We'll call him Blaze. And I just realized that I had to burp. Oh, it's a male Pokemon. Okay. I see where we're going with this. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'll take this one. Of course you will, because you're a little bitch. And so, how are we doing? 19 hit points. Oh, 10, 10 across the board. 13 speed. That's not... Horrible. And Jolly. Uh, yeah, I don't know what those do. Alright, well. Wait, did I spell my name right? Okay, I did. For a second I thought I misspelled Kronos. I was gonna go, what the fuck? Yes, there are multiple ways to spell Kronos. I know this. 
I uh, use I go by many spellings of Kronos, but it's, uh, the one I thought I misspelled it is was not a you know a correct spelling. Go Blaze! Oh, for Pete's sake! So pushy as always, Kronos. Destroy that little bitch. Oh, I will, Professor Oak. Don't worry about it. Yes, I know. Faint Zero. I'm not new to this. God damn it. I've been raising Pokemon for years on end. I'm gonna scratch your eyes out. Inflicting damage on a foe is blah 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 blah. A tackle. Tackle. Not tackle. No. Come on, critical hit. Mm, Tail Whip actually sucks so early on because. Blaze here does not have the best defense. But I could just, you know, growl and make him. Oh my fucking god! This could be bad. Okay. Oh! Yeah, we're cutting it fucking close, people! I didn't want to use that potion. Ain't a level, though. Well, that would have been a freaking quick LP. <laughs> Kind of, eh, maybe for April Fools. I'm gonna say that'd be kind of funny. Uh, April Fools episode. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money. In other words, I'm mugging trainers as I kill their Pokemon. Yeah, that's kind of abusive. Go ahead for it. You know, go ahead though, because I'm gonna abuse the shit out of my Pokemon also. Yeah, I don't care. I can gotta adjust the fucking tech speed here. Uh. No, wait. Fast, there we go. You say anything interesting, bitch? Bitch Cake McGee. Huh. Alright, so let's get the hell out of here. We're gonna go north to Viridian City. So, Route 1 here. We're never gonna be able to catch a Pokemon. What a shame. It would have been Pidgey. Pidgey's actually probably one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't know why. I used to have a Finch. I, I guess that kind of makes sense. I had a Finch growing up that was uh, really cool. He was alive for 12 years. I guess that's pretty long for a bird. But uh, he, was, he was a good bird. He died like four years ago. Which is sad. I have a frog that's almost 17 years old. Which is mind-blowing, really. Get a potion on this guy, because we're badass like that. Um, yeah, he's, he's gonna be 17 in, like, November or December. He's been around... Uh, yeah, he's outlived the cat. Hey, Rattata. Level 4 Rattata, that's actually probably gonna hurt a little bit. He doesn't have good defense, though. No, that wasn't too bad. We'll gain level, at least. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Frog. Yes, his name is Frog, actually. I think we learn Embers now, don't we? Ember, don't we? Yeah, we do. Sweet! There were some other additional rules to uh, the, this Nuzlocke challenge that I could have went with, like... Um, I could have given myself a Mercy rule where it's like I had a second, or I had like a turn to revive a Pokemon, but I didn't want to do that. Um, yeah, so once it faints, it's dead. It's dead, Jim. Um, there are some others. I'm going to link the the description to both the original website where this challenge started and to the Bulbapedia uh, entry for it. And so you guys can read up on it, of course. Almost a level 8. Not bad. On the upside, I was going to originally go, okay, I can only catch 6, but... That's not really, uh, would be hard for me, because that's no how I normally play, play Pokemon, is that I would only catch, like, the six Pokemon that were going to be my team, and then at the end of the game, I would do whatever catching I would want, or raising I would want. Um, there's also a rule for Nuzlocke that was like, oh, you can only go to a Poke Center once. I like a challenge, I do, but that would be stupid, and I don't want to do that. Because right there, I would have been like, okay, now I have to make it all the way back to Pallet Town. And then all the way back to Viridian City without taking damage. No. No, sir, I don't like it. 
I'm making pretty good progress, I guess. Uh, just, yeah, we'll do a little more battling. We could just go on the sides and jump down the little rock sides. But I want to gain some levels. It's not like I'm going to be catching any of these Pokemon, because, you know, I've already killed these people. I wish there was just like a hard mod, a mod that I could attach to the ROM and just be like, oh, nice critical hit. And just be like, all right, you are pretty much stuck with these rules. Eh, not, not that bad of gains, I guess. The 19 hit points can usually be bad because that usually means I'm gonna gain one or two hit points, of, like like one, like one hit point a level sometimes, and that sucks, like horrible. Um, but obviously that's not the case. I'm pretty sure I've gained two each level. Yeah, I have, okay. Now, you know, some of you are probably listen like, the Nuzlocke challenge sounds fucking ridiculous. And, yeah, it kind of is. Um, but why would you want to do that? Well, it kind of encourages you to use Pokemon that you normally don't use. Like, I have six Pokemon that I use always. I can name them to you. Um, actually, it depends on the, the version. Like, okay, so I'll give Pokemon Yellow, which is a game I've played many times. And my main Pokemon are usually Pikachu, Nidoking, Pidgeot, Snorlax, uh, Gyarados, and a Growlithe. Yep, that's it. And then I just I ignore all the other Pokemon. Now this way, I could end up using, like... A, a, a butter a butterfree for free or something like that you know how often I've used one of those probably the first time I ever played Pokemon because I saw the episode where Metapod evolved and that was it because they were horrible I mean sure they get confusion and psychic attacks but it doesn't mean they're good okay they're better than some others never really used the B drill though did I get my five pokeballs yet I wasn't paying attention Oops. Oh, God. Did, no. What What did I do? Oh, my God. Yeah, I got my five Pokemon. Okay. Alright, let's head back up to Viridian City. Gain some levels, maybe. I don't want to do too much grinding uh, outside of level, like, outside the recording of the episode. Then again, I'm not going to be recording, like, hour-long grinding sessions. Unless it's, you know, the fun kind of grinding. Wink, wink. I could probably get a million hits if I did that. Then I would look like an idiot, though, and I don't want to do that. It's one of the reasons why I don't vlog anymore. I could edit this out. Eh, we'll see. We'll see how I feel about editing halfway through this stuff. Alright, so... On the upside, we are going to probably save money on Pokeballs, meaning more potions and the whatnot. <clears throat> Alright, let's go to... Uh, hail the Pokemon. Hail the Pokemon! Yay, healed. Probably going to keep these episodes around like 15, 16 minutes long. We're actually coming up... Yeah, we're, we're about at the mark where I should be ending the episode. Let's see if we can catch our second Pokemon, though. Let's hope it's a good one. La -da 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 -da. Please, something that doesn't suck. Oh, Makey! Really? Nice. That doesn't suck. That's actually really good. Now, hopefully, I don't one-shot it. Okay. Didn't one-shot it. And... Potion, no. Go, Pokeball. One, two, three. Sweet! So we caught a Mankey. The hell am I gonna name this guy? The fuck am I gonna name this guy? Huh. Um, hmm, hmm, 
They should have like a random name generator. Oh, you know what? We'll name him Clubber. After Clubber Lang. I pity the fool. All right, so we caught our first Pokemon, which is a Mankey, which is actually really good. Now, I'm gonna end the episode here. And I'm actually gonna grind Mankey up to level... Yeah, we'll, we'll get him up to level seven, and we'll get Blaze up to level 10, and we'll go from there. So yeah, thank you for joining me on the first episode of my, you know, Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. And I hope I see you on episode two. If you like the episode, press the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I highly recommend it. And I will see you next time. Bye.